Hi, my name is Gabriela Salazar, and my seminar presentation is on what are the long-term consequences COVID-19 has on its patients. Now I'll be addressing the breakdown of these consequences. For starters, the novel COVID-19 has caused many doctors and scientists to question the very effects COVID-19 has on organs and other long-term health problems. Many coronavirus patients tend to recover within weeks of first being infected. However, a plethora plethora of patients are left with acute symptoms similar to those experienced while infected. Many of these long-term consequences are experienced in the lungs, hearts, and cognitive functions of these patients, taking several weeks and even months for them to disappear. Now you may be asking yourself why does COVID-19 infect so many different organs at the same time? A recent finding has explained this question and has identified it to coronavirus' ability to bind to angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, or ACE2, receptors in the body. These ACE2 receptors can be found in specific organs and tissues that regulate cardiovascular, renal, and reproductive functions. Therefore, ACE2 is highly expressed in lungs and small intestines and in endothelial cells and smooth muscle cells of virtually all organs thus providing a conducive method for COVID-19 to affect a multitude of different organs and systems, such as the digestive system, urogenital system, central nervous system, and circulatory system. I'll be organizing this PowerPoint presentation into four different organs that COVID-19 affects. For starters, the lungs. COVID-19 is an infectious respiratory disease that directly affects the lungs. Coronavirus attacks the epithelial cells that line the airways of the lungs, which serve important functions such as protection, fluid balance, clearing of the airways, mucus production, and triggering of the immune response. Since COVID-19 specifically attacks these cells, the lungs become inflamed, restricting airflow, and can even develop pneumonia. The type of pneumonia linked to COVID-19 causes fluid to leak into blood vessels and develop tiny air sacs named alveoli in the lungs. Additionally, a multitude of patients have been left with scar tissues in their lungs, resulting in detrimental long-term breathing problems even after the patient no longer tests positive for coronavirus. Furthermore, specific case studies of 138 hospitalized coronavirus patients have been linked to acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, which is a type of respiratory failure which creates irreversible lung damage and breathing problems. Additionally, coronavirus detrimentally affects the heart. COVID-19 has caused a series of blood clotting in various of its patients, blocking blood flow to capillaries in the heart muscles. These blood clots are then linked to heart attacks and seizures. One study done at Renmin Hospital of Wuhan University in Wuhan, China, has found that 82 out of the 416 hospitalized patients contain damaging cardiac injury and experience long-term acute illnesses such as heart palpitations and inflammation. Additionally, a recent study by the Journal of the American College of Cardiology indicates that heart abnormalities can be found in at least 25% of hospitalized and recovering patients, and also suggests some heart disease found among specific cases of patients with coronavirus. Thirdly, I'll be talking about the brain. Recently, doctors have found long-term cognitive effects in COVID-19 patients. A recent study supported by the National Institute of Health found that 40% of COVID-19 patients had neurological manifestations, while 30% demonstrated impaired cognition. These were demonstrated by neuropsychological impairments in memory, attention, and executive function. COVID-19 causes brain damage by causing encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain. Encephalitis can cause devastating consequences on multiple brain functions. Not only that, but it was found that many patients with COVID-19 suffered from strokes. Another cause of brain damage was lack of oxygen. Furthermore, long-term psychological effects from recovering COVID-19 ICU patients include depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Also, recent studies have also found a subtle linkage between COVID-19 patients and the high risk factor of developed Alzheimer's disease in the future. Finally, we'll be talking about the liver and the kidney. COVID-19 has been linked to liver problems, acute renal failure, and intestinal damage. A neurophysiologist at the Yale School of Medicine has found nearly half of hospitalized patients with coronavirus having blood or protein in their kidney, signifying the early onset of kidney damage. Additionally, 14 to 30% of ICU patients in New York and Wuhan, China, 
were found losing kidney function and needing dialysis for renal replacement therapy. These are my references. Thank you.